All right, so in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 30. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by dividing both sides by 3. So now I have 3 to the power of x over 3 is equal to 30 divided by 3. So this implies to 3 to the power of x over 3 is equal to 30 divided by 3. That's equal to 10. Now, if you guys already didn't know, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 3 to the power of x over 3, well, 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. So I have 3 to the power of x over 3 to the power of 1 is equal to 10, and this simplifies to 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 10. So now to solve this, I'm going to take the, the log on both sides. So now I have log 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to log 10. Now an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 3 to the power of x minus 1, and we can think of a here, or sorry, 3 here as a, and x minus 1 as b. So if I can move b to the front here, then so, I, so can i over here. So now I'm going to have x minus 1 times log 3 is equal to log 10. So now to continue solving this, log 10, that's the same thing as 1. So now I have x minus 1 times log 3 is equal to 1. Now, if I divide both sides by log 3, I get x minus 1 is equal to 1 over log 3. So now, if I add 1 on both sides, just to cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to 1 over log 3 plus 1. So now, to find the exact value, log 3, I can plug this into a calculator, log 3, that's equal to 0 0.4771. So I have 1 over 0 0.4771 plus 1. So now, 1 over log 3, or 1 over 0 0.4771, that's going to be... Two point zero nine five nine. So I have this plus one. So my final answer is three point zero nine five nine. So this is my answer. All right. So in this problem, I have three to the power of x plus one is equal to twelve. So let me write this down. Three to the power of x plus one is equal to twelve. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log three to the power of x plus one is equal to log. 12. Now, I'm going to move this x plus 1 to the front, because if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can go ahead and move b to the front, so this would equal b times log a. So now I'm going to have x plus 1 times log 3 is equal to log 12. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and distribute the log 3. So now I have x times log 3 plus log 3 is equal to, or sorry, sorry. I'm actually going to divide by log 3 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x plus 1 is equal to log 12 over log 3. So now I'm going to go ahead and find the value of log 12 over log 3. 
So log 12, you could just simply plug this into a calculator. The value of log 12, that's equal to approximately 1.079. And log 3, you could also put that into a calculator. That's going to be 0 0.477. So I have 1.079 over 0 0.477. And if I divide those two, I get 1.771. Now I have x plus 1 equals 1.771, so all I have to do is simply subtract 1 on both sides, and I get x is equal to 0 0.771. So this is my answer. Alright, so in this problem I have x to the power of 4 minus 25 is equal to 0. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite x to the power of 4 here as x to the power of 2 times 2. So now I have x to the power of 2 times 2 minus 25 is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, I can write as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus 25, I can write as phi to the power of 2. So this is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, this can equal x squared plus 5 times x squared minus 5, which is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 5 is equal to 0, and I have x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. So for x squared plus 5 is equal to 0, all I have to do is simply subtract 5 on both sides. These two cancel out, and I'll be left with x squared is equal to negative 5. Now, I'll take the square root on both sides. So I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative 5. And the square root of x squared is x. The square root of negative 5 I can write as the square root of 5 times the square root of negative 1. And it's going to be positive or negative square root of 5. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1, this is actually equal to i. So now I have x is equal to positive or negative square root of 5i. So these are two solutions. Now for here I have x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. I'm going to add 5 on both sides. Now I have x squared is equal to 5. Now if I take the square root on both sides, the square root of x squared is x. The square root of 5 this is the same thing, square root of positive or negative square root of 5. So these are two solutions. So these are my four solutions to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x plus x equals 5. So I'm going to first start by subtracting x on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 minus x. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to the power of x. And these two cancel out, and I get 1 is equal to 5 minus x over 2 to the power of x. Now, this is the same thing as negative x plus 5 times 2 to the power of negative x. And if I multiply both sides by 2 to the power of 5, I get 1 times 2 to the power of 5 is equal to negative x plus 5 times 2 to the power of negative x. And 2 to the power of 5 is 32, so I get 32 is equal to negative x plus 5 times, sorry, I forgot to multiply this side by 2 to the power of 5, but 2 to the power of negative x plus 2 to the power of 5 is 2 to the power of 5 minus x. Now, I have 32 is equal to negative x plus 5 times e to the power of ln of 2 
times negative x plus 5. And now, it's, it's the same thing as negative x plus 5 times ln 2e to the power of negative x plus 5 times ln 2 is equal to 32 times ln 2. So I just multiply both sides by ln 2. And now if I take the w Lambert function on both sides... And if you don't know what this is, I highly recommend researching about it. But after that's done, I'm going to be left with negative x is equal to negative 5 plus w of 32 ln 2 over ln 2. And meaning x is equal to 5 minus w of 30, 32 ln 2 over ln 2. Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So to solve this, I'm going to divide both sides by x to the power of 2. So then these two cancel out, and I have 1 is equal to x to the power of x over x to the power of 2. Now if I have something from a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So x to the power of x over x to the power of 2, this is going to equal x to the power of x minus 2. Now if I take the ln of both sides, I get ln of 1 is equal to ln of x to the power of x minus 2. Now if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so it's going to equal b times ln a. Now I, have, I can move x minus 2 to the front. So now I have ln 1 is equal to x minus 2 times ln of x. And ln of 1 is equal to 0. So I have 0 is equal to x minus 2 times ln x. So now this actually gives me two equations. I have x minus 2 is equal to 0. And I have ln of x is equal to 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, this is pretty simple. All we have to do is add 2 on both sides. And, sorry, we get that x is equal to 2. And for ln x equals 0, well, ln of 1 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 1. So my two solutions are x equals 2 and x equals 1. All right, so in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 over 9 to the power of x is equal to 81. So I'm going to first rewrite 9 to the power of x as 3 squared to the power of x. And we got 81 as 3 to the power of 4. Now, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 minus 2x is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Because 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of 2x. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x to the power of 3 minus 2x is equal to 4 meaning x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. So now to solve this, we actually have to find one solution of x before, so we can use that solution to find the other solutions of x. And we actually have to just keep on plugging in numbers until we find a solution. So if you actually plug in 2, you get that x equals, or sorry, that the solution equals 0. So 
x equals 2 is one solution of x. And now using the solution, we can find the rest of the solutions by doing long division. x minus 2 equals 0 is a solution. So meaning we have to divide this by our original equation. So we have x, x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 4 divided by x minus 2. And if you do this, you end up getting x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now this gives me two equations. I have x minus 2 is equal to 0, and I have x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, x is obviously equal to 2. And for x squared plus 2x plus 2 equals 0, I can use the quadratic formula. So I get x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 2, all over 2a. This is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 over 2, which is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 2i over 2, which is equal to negative 1 plus or minus i. So these are my three solutions to this problem.